pretty impressive, isn't it? Even when there's practically zero flow of argon gas to the tube, look how much thrust we get. When we have two wires carrying Tesla core radiation, one inside a plastic tube, which is ionizing argon gas, and we bring up a second wire with the same radiation right out of the Tesla coil, you can see energy is magnetic from the second wire are repelling argon gas as it's formed by the first wire. If we attach an aluminium plate to that second wire, and the gas is still ionized and you can see as the aluminium plate gets near the argon gas it reduces its ionization and repels it from some distance. Likewise if we place the aluminium plate around the first wire with no power from the Tesla coil it ionizes quite nicely but then when we bring up a wire from the Tesla coil with some power and touch that plate the ionization shuts off. Next, let us place a copper wire coil around that tube of argon gas which is being ionized by a single wire from a Tesla coil. Then we, when we place power from the Tesla coil through that wire coil, it shuts off. Now we take power from the Tesla coil and put it into the aluminium plate. The argon gas is flowing and we put the coil right up against it vertically with a switchable path to ground and it explodes like an iron rocket. Okay, let's turn up the power. Pretty impressive, isn't it? To fully understand this device, let's place the aluminium plate with its Tesla coil wire on the left and we'll place the copper wire coil on the right which has no power input, just two wires which can be connected by a flip switch to ground. And when Tesla coil power goes in the aluminium plate, it can induce lens currents in this copper wire coil and we can see what happens when those lens currents are induced opposite the flow of argon gas which is going from right to left. Now with this reversed arrangement you can clearly see the argon gas wants to flow left to right away from the aluminium plate and out of the copper wire coil upstream against the flow of the argon gas. On the other side absolutely nothing's coming out. So the arrangement of the aluminium plate and the copper wire coil tell you in which direction the ionized argon gas wants to flow.
even when there's practically zero flow of argon gas through the tube, look how much thrust we get. That's 60 watts, 1 amp, going through the coil. The ion rocket. Something else we can do to accelerate argon gas after it's ionized, if we place an aluminum plate with a hole in the exhaust, then we get a lot of plasma between the plate and the coil and you can feel the thrust with your hand coming out of there.